Well, she may not be from Indiana, but her story about finding love is something a lot of people in central Indiana can relate to. Yes, yeah, Cindy Loof is uh, from Nebraska, but she disappeared last month after going on a Tinder date. But earlier this week, police found her dead. Her murder is now sparking a conversation about online dating and safety. V. Wynn joins us now about uh, the precautions people are taking, V. Yeah, Phil and Brooke, there are so many dating apps out there like Tinder, where people can swipe in hopes to find their perfect match. Many college students who use dating apps tell me they are checking and doing their research before meeting anyone in person. Millions of people turn to online dating in hopes to find their true love, but for others, they are taking a step back because of the risk. After receiving some creepy messages and you kind of realize, like, what are these people's intentions? Uh, and then you kind of realize that you're putting your life on the line if you are meeting up with strangers. So. Christina Swider used dating apps in the past and says you never know who you're truly meeting. There's no like background check or anything. I mean, it just is what they say. They'll say that they go to, you know, Butler University, for example, or I am 20 years old, but... And in reality, you don't really even know who is behind that profile. The renewed push for online safety comes after 24-year-old Sydney Loof was found murdered in Nebraska. Her family says she disappeared last month after going on a Tinder date. Just this week, police found her body, and her date is now considered a person of interest in the case. I mean, that's, that's absolutely terrifying. I'd be very cautious. Make sure you know who you're going to meet, um, because obviously, yeah, things can happen. Which is why police are urging people to be extra careful when it comes to online dating. Police say trust your instincts. Don't rush to meet someone you just met online. Let a friend know about your online interactions. And if you decide to meet in person, meet them in a public place. Tell a friend, let them know who you're meeting and where you're going. Over spring break, we actually had a friend who went on a turn today. We all went to bed. We didn't know what was going to happen. We are like, oh, is Tessa going to come back? It was a major concern from the group whether she was going to return or not. Luckily, she did. But... Now, there's one way you, um, you can check to see if someone has a criminal history. You can always search for someone's name using My Case. It's a website where you can search for court information in Indiana. But again, you want to do your research by checking social media accounts or perhaps even running a background check. Good tips, V. Uh, before we let you go, we should point out that online dating is not all bad, right? Yeah, and I, I know that on eHarmony, they even have like a website dedicated to like their success stories. So there is, you know, some good out of this if you you know, have some luck. Yeah, so. a lot of people are on mm -hmm. them, so good tips. Thanks, Pete.